It's a terrible thing to admit, but mother of two, Tammy, says she no longer loves her teenage daughters. In fact, she wants someone to take them both away. Lock them up. Lock them up. I think my kids need to be locked up or somebody come and take them from me. Just take them. It's a big call and a controversial one. There's no love. I don't love them. Is Henry in there? No. Right, I need you to open the door. Just get up. I need to leave. This is the daily battle for single mum Tammy. Get the off! Sophie, get up and get the off! No! Desperately trying to get her teenage daughters to school. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. <coughs> and copying a tirade of foul-mouthed abuse for her efforts. Pick it up. Leave it. No, don't tell me off. Just get up and make your bed. If I said that to my mum growing up as a 14-year-old, I think I'd be clipped around the ear. Absolutely. I'd still be hearing about it. Yeah. I've actually had enough. I've had enough. I now don't care what happens. Okay. Why don't you drive your car into a tree? They've said it, they've said it to me. Why don't you just go and drive your car into a tree? That really hurts. Evil, just evil. Nasty, I, I don't like the people they are. Tammy says she's close to giving up on her teenage daughters, 14-year-old Hillary and 16-year-old Sophie, who we've chosen not to show. Their mum contacted a current affair in sheer desperation at being unable to control her daughters. I've, I have come to the end of my tether. We've had knives produced in the house. Not, they're steak knives, but still, they're a knife. They have taken the card. I've had them throw things at me. I'm not innocent either. If they've thrown something at me, sometimes I've thrown something back. Tammy is also concerned about the girl's apparent drug use. Here, she confronts them in her backyard. Hand it to me. Oh, here it is. 14-year-old Hillary is smoking a cigarette with a homemade bong sitting on the table beside her. So I'd like you to get that in the bin. I will, Mum. So pick it up now and put it in the bin. Yes, I'll put it on me, Mum. Put it in the It's not just mine. I just don't care so whose it is. It. The girls have a shocking school I attendance I record. Know. Tammy estimates they've only gone a handful of days this year. Yeah, I have their absentee uh, notes from the school and 67 last year. Unexplained, 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 and then suspended, 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 suspended. That was last year. Even more ridiculous when you consider that the girls live there and the school is literally a stone's throw away just across there. Uh, I asked her to take sheets off her bed. She screamed at me saying, I'm not doing it now. You go on about every mother effing thing because I told her it was bedtime. Effing dog, don't talk to me, you effing C. Stupid effing ugly C. No wonder you don't have any friends. That's because I caught her smoking in the garage. And the ugly confrontations could literally leave the family homeless. Neighbours have been complaining about the constant noise and Tammy and the girls have been threatened with eviction by their landlord. That's my biggest fear. That's actually my biggest fear. So at the moment, they're just being self-centred, selfish and putting themselves before mum. Order of Australia recipient John Hendry is a long-time academic specialising in the welfare of young people. He has this advice for Tammy. The only way you'll ever change behaviour is through kindness. Another option for Tammy is the Operation Flinders program, an adventure hiking camp for at-risk youth. The young people have a huge amount of challenge in this society today compared to what we might have had in, in, in our earlier days. Uh, and it's all about helping those young people build their self-esteem. The program is South Australia based, but CEO John Van Ruth says he's open to bringing it to the New South Wales town where Tammy and the girls live to see if they can help. I'd be very keen to look at opportunities uh, in other states to share our model of how we work with, again, adventure-based therapy uh, to help young people. So I want you to meet these girls and uh, I think that the girls may see the seriousness of, of their behaviour and their actions. It's come to this whereby I can't do this anymore, OK? I can't do it anymore with you girls not going to school, you know, s smoking, Marijuana. Is that appropriate the way you talk to your mum? No, but she doesn't. She's not. Oh, mum, stop. No, she's not what? What am I not?
No, well, no, it's not. What's embarrassing is when you don't go to school and things <laughs> like that. We don't treat her like rubbish. We've, we've seen the videos, though, telling her to F off. Yeah, but you don't, you don't see how she treats us either. You don't. Sophie, this is no joke. Is Hillary in there? No, Mum. Right, I need you to open the door. Is it Sophie? I've literally just been inside there for about an hour. No cameras, obviously. Uh, the girls, they came out of their rooms. We sat around in the lounge room and talked. Talked about why they're so upset at their mum. They say she overreacts and is too hard on them. Tammy, she said, well, she's got rules and she just expects those girls to follow those rules if they're living under her roof. There was no swearing. There was no screaming for the first time in a long time. And there was plenty of listening and things were calm as I left. Whether they'll stay that way through the night, who knows? But at this stage, promising. How was it after I left? Uh, it was really good. We went down the road. Um, I did get McDonald's. Okay. They... We did that and we came home. Because it was later, we yeah, just sat down and watched TV. Have you had a night like that in a while? or? Not really. No, not really. No. That's a pretty good step, I would say. Hillary was saying yesterday after she'd calmed down that she was only just thinking that how much she loves me and how much she would be, you know, totally lost without me. This just came out of nowhere. That's pretty amazing. It was. It was. It was amazing. That sounds promising. Tammy says she's open to sending her daughters to any program that will improve their relationship, including Operation Flinders.